Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting and reading to episode 9 of Solo Leveling. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. I'm not surprised that they're, you know, good as fuck, because duh. Exactly. <laughs> right, right. We we know like the gist is gonna f be found out today by someone. Someone's gonna find out about his big old secret. But my thing is, once again, as we talked about last week, is if he tells someone, is it gonna die? There's consequences, right? And, and you know, the, the his, his little higher ups be feeling some type of way when he does anything wrong. He be like, damn. So, yeah, split in three, go down all three paths, and, you know, make a sound. Of course. the far right for them. He knows. Hope nothing bad happens to you.
mean, you're right, but damn. Oh. Oh, he does, baby. He does. Oh, damn. Got him, too. Dead. And he wanted to apologize. At least take him out the, take him to the hospital. He's still hot, though, I'm just saying, so. He had scum, though. No, you already lost an arm. You can't lose your life.
Bruh, he is also dying today. I hate to say it, but it, it's kind of a little obvious. He about to do it all oh my god. <gasps> he was paid, duh. Which was a good thing. Well, they came at the wrong time, so Mainly due to that second awakening, duh. To think that this dude would also be someone who just loves to toy with people and also kill people just for the fun of it. I mean, because he's just a calm, cool, collected guy and such, but you just know due to his seiyu and it's just how he does that shit. Like, perfect casting once again. Oh, they got, he got to kill him! Oh, my God. Damn it! Baby, you about to die.
He's hot. Do we really have to kill him? He's still gonna get you. Yeah, babe, you, you might be like the ultimate killing machine by the end of this. Do you really want that, though? Come on, tell they families, especially Kim's. Another hot guy died. Great. Only really three. Yeah, I mean, he had his reasons, though. He was hot, though. I'm just saying. Fine as fuck. But now he dead. It's okay. Well, So we all just go in through the okay. Right. But we ain't questioning it no more, no less.
No, 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 it's fine. We just need to keep his secret safe. Her top is cute. Okay. I hate the fact that he had to kill King. I get it. I get it. Fine ass mofo against another fine ass mofo. Gotta fight to the death because once again we're in a situation killed or be killed. But the fact is now that we've gone from five survivors now just to three at an inch. I did not really think that, number one, that was going to happen. But, of course, because of who we're talking about and how he just literally brutally murdered three prisoners for some money, did y'all think, or did I think he was going to let everybody else go out alive? Fuck no. Like, boy, was it going to be like, mm, if I have to, I'm just going to kill everybody up in here. And just be like, yes, I was the only one out of this group necessarily who survived. But the fact is that he also spilled the guts of Bajinwu having a second awakening. Damn. I fell for him, but it's a reason, you know, we, we all knew it was coming. That was the issue. It was just, the thing was, how long was it going to take? Where Was everybody going to find out by the end of season one? Something. So I'm glad we got it now, essentially, and not, like, let's say if the show had season three or season four and everybody finds out. It does suck that we lost people that I, I really wouldn't consider friends of here of, of his, so I'd just say teammates, So because it, it really does suck when you lose someone who is like that and just dies very instantly. Um... But damn. At least he got to apologize to him. And not like a heartfelt, you know, proper apology. Because he didn't have that much time until he was about to pass. So he had to do it quick. But, like I said, who the heck is going to tell his family? And, and it felt so weird, especially when we went into last week's episode. And slowly but surely we were getting POVs of everybody who initially survived the first, like, that dungeon and stuff. And it felt a little weird because I was like, okay, number one, we're going to see these characters all come together, but something tells me somebody about to die out of these five people. I just didn't think we were going to have three people be the sole, sole survivors of this. But damn. What could happen next? I, I have no clue, but... Other than that, guys, that is my action read towards episode 9 of Solo Leveling. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every time I join the matches. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for episode 10. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.